twinks and brunettes, and welcome to the ninth episode of my Extremely Dramatic Pleasant View. Today, we're going to finally, finally, finally be able to play The Sims in the apartments here. So, Niamh and our son, Kiernan, and then her brother, Shay. So, they are both Lucy and Dustin's kids. They are brother and sisters, and we'll finally be done with the apartments. I'm so excited for today, so let's start right away. Also, by the way, I'm sorry that there wasn't the usual extremely dramatic pleasant view on Sunday. I was really really excited to finish my do we make too much of a fuss about corruption video and I didn't really have time to do two videos that week so I chose to like prioritize the corruption video but I hope that this is posted either on Wednesday night or Thursday morning so that I can then have time to make another extremely dramatic pleasant view for the usual Sunday morning slot that I have gotten you all used to. <laughs> so Neve is, oh Neve is waking up. I was about to say she's in bed, but she's not, she's waking up. Or I, lo I love to see Orlando alive and well. <laughs> Oh, that was such a stressful time and now it's fixed and it's just like oh, Poor baby. She was a resurrect rider. Sorry. Anyway, you've seen you've probably seen Nia before but I'm Obsessed with her. She is so pretty and yes that's it. <laughs> Niamh is Lucy and Dustin's first child, so she's the oldest. She becomes an elder in 17 days. Her son, she had with SDD, famous SDD, Spencer Duhamel. They just have a f well, they're in love, I think, but it's like a flame thing, yeah. And keep in mind, he still hasn't broken things up with her, even though he's married to Astra now. So I, I'm not saying that he's gonna like get with Neve while he's married because that hasn't happened yet. But I cannot exclude the possibility of it happening. So, and he's a popularity sim, so he's not going to feel like icky and stuff about it. So she also has like she's been around <laughs> not petrogly I love I love Roman sim but she she's had a couple of men in her bed she she you know she has pretty good relationships with her neighbors she's friends with both Devin and Grant she's friends well best friends forever with Roisin she loves her brother to bits um, her son and her have a, an excellent relationship so it's not like it's nothing weird between them like a single mom having a hard time or anything They're, they have a really great relationship and here's little Kiernan I'm gonna make him change into his everyday so we can have a better look at him right now he all, all he wants in life is a pet I have noticed I just he's, he's so fucking cute oh I wish I had freckled skin wouldn't he look so adorable with freckled skin oh anyway he's good friends with Faith Technically, I think they're close. No, they're not close at all to the same age because when I started the summer round in the Dreamer family, Faith was aging up the same day, and Kiernan is aging up in five days. So he's actually gonna age up at the end of the season. So we'll see him as a teenager for one single day. So that's gonna be exciting. I might throw a little birthday party for all the parties I had to cancel <laughs> because people were sick. Like, first time it was Eli that was sick and I couldn't make the house party I wanted to make and then everyone downstairs was sick and I still threw a wedding and then Ryder died. <laughs> so I'm like, I need, I need a party to happen. I don't know why he's friends with Ivy. That's a bit strange because Ivy's like a fully grown adult, but okay. He's close to being friends with Leo. Leo's a, a boy his age and Nelly as well. Nelly's a bit younger than him. She aged up into a child at the end of the summer round. So he's a, he's, I think he's probably like five days older than her. And in my age system, five days is a long time. He doesn't know his father very well. I think the only time as his father has been around since he was born was when he was a newborn baby like literally had his birth and never after that I don't think he, he's like doesn't want to see him I just don't see me as the kind of person to be like you need to come and see him like I don't see her being this like 
She doesn't care. <laughs> she doesn't care. I'm just so excited that nobody's sick anymore. It was, it really was making me crazy. <laughs> I might change Nia's appearance because I, well, a couple, I think by now it's been like a couple months, but I've downloaded a lot of hairs and she's been having that hair since she was a teenager. So I'd be really happy to take it off of her. Why is that good? Why does she look good? Why is that good on her? Oh, she looks so sophistic sophisticated. Sophisticated? Not sophisticated? Yeah, sophisticated. Doesn't she? I don't know. There's something about... Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Because I like to keep, like, her, her hair texture was more, like, wavy. Not really curly, but wavy. And that's, like, wavy as well. So I feel like that could be she just put her hair up. <laughs> she didn't dramatically change hair texture. <laughs> I love that she has black hair. Not that like there's plenty of people in Pleasant View with black hair, don't get me wrong, but it just fits her old vibe. I don't think she would have looked as intense with her father's blonde hair. And I like that Kiernan has blonde hair because he looks a lot softer and sweeter. And I think if he inherited his mother's black hair, he, he wouldn't look as soft. It's just something sometimes that I like to evaluate. She has such good lips, doesn't she? Like, that's such a good size. As someone with big lips. <sighs> the It's it's kind of fun, like I thank God every day that I don't have to pay for lip injections, but the amount of lip balm that I go through in a week should be illegal. I'm in love with her. Why are, they, why are you obsessed with cleaning the toilet? Okay, do it for once, like properly. Oh, it's okay. I keep stopping her. She really wanted that toilet clean. She also talked to Roisin. I think I'm gonna have her, if Roisin isn't at work, I'm gonna have her go down and have a chat with her, you know, moral support. Girls supporting girls. That's what I like to see. I'm drinking an ice cap from Tim Hortons and I asked for whip on top. I know some people don't like Tim Hortons whip because it's like not, made from milk or cream it's made from vegetable fat or i don't know i'm not vegetable oil i'm not sure and some people don't like the taste of that because it's like grocery store frosting like it's the same kind of stuff they made it from they make it from oh my rent is late i think but it's the ki same kind of stuff they make it with and i love grocery store cake icing and i love tim Hortons whip i love it and i paid extra for it it was 66 cents and i forgot it they forgot it, not I. They forgot to put it on my ice cap. Oh, Shay's naked in the hot tub. Shay's so fun. I think, like, I really don't know. I, it's rare that I have sims, like, couples have three kids. Oh, Roshin is in the middle of the street. Let's go talk to her. That's what she want to do. So, not gossip. Why did I? I always go for gossip because it takes less time. Hang out with her. Like, actually spend time with her. But what was I saying? God. <laughs> what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, yeah, I, I, it's rare that I have, couples have more than three kids, more than two actually, and uh, Lucy and Dustin had three kids, and it creates kind of a weird, um, what, what do I want to say? It creates kind of a weird dynamic where it's like in my mind I'm trying to have a favorite. That's so strange because when when there's two kids, when parents have two children, I usually love them equally. Like I love Devin as much as I love Hollis and I love Maggie as much as I loved Ryder. But I don't know why I'm kind of thorn between making having like Shay be my favorite, but also Nia is so fucking pretty that I kind of is she's kind of my favorite, but I think that's because I'm gay and <laughs> and also it's Cyril is just so sweet and cute and him and Monique are so adorable. So I kind of like, I don't know. I don't know why I feel like I have to have a favorite, but I feel like I do. She also wants to play with her and tell her an inside joke. So let's do that. I don't know if she has worked today. Cause if she does, we're going to ask. No, she doesn't. Okay. Cause I really have to ask someone to be here when she goes to work because she comes back at 7 PM. And if Kiernan is here alone more than two hours, there's going to be a bitch in a van coming to take him away. And I don't want that to happen. I have so much energy today. I don't know if it's because of the ice cap or because I went to sleep at 4 AM and woke up like feeling like I slept 12 hours when I actually slept like five, but I don't know something. I It's brain chemistry. I don't know. Oh, she wanted to do other stuff with her actually. Appreciate her. Appreciate her. 
Who's the fireman? Oh, this Grant. <laughs> Who, who's that guy? Who's the hot fireman? But she's related to Grant. So he can't be a hot fireman. He's also married, but I think the fact that they're related should be a good enough of a... Oh, she wants to talk to Cyril. Talk to Paul. I thought that was Cyril. Talk to Paul. Why do you want to talk to Paul? Why do you want to talk to Paul, Neve? I'm, I'm very suspicious of Neve. She, she always has ulterior motives. I feel like where Neve is a full-blown... Oh, I'll definitely go. Oh, but... Okay, yeah, I'll go. I'll just ask Shay to stay here and watch but i feel like where neov is a full-blown a hundred percent family sim shay has a softer side i think i might make him either secondary fortune or family you see he's just so sweet to me he's a playboy he's allowed to be a playboy like i don't mind that Okay, where should we go with that guy? I don't even know if I have a relationship with that guy. Like, if I've already dated him or not. It's noon, so let's not go to a club. We can go... The skating rink is fun. At this hour of the day, it's not ridiculous. Let's see. Has she already dated that guy? Yes, yeah, she has. Okay. So, Shay's staying home to watch the kid makes it so that we can stay out as long as we freaking want. Oh, it's like a date date. Cool. Oh, mm, I'm sorry. I was eating my wrap and I just saw that he wants to get married to her. Hermit, I don't think you understand. <laughs> I don't think you understand, buddy. Oh, she's meeting Astra. Yeah, that's exactly what you're supposed to do when there's like really loud techno music in the background. You're supposed to slow dance romantically. At least that's what I do. Oh, that guy was like her first time. That's why I barely remembered him. It's been so long. Let's have the woohoo in the photo machine. Why are they doing it again? That's ACR. I didn't make them. I didn't make them do it again. I need to make that very clear. All right. So this little fun time is over. Let's go home. <clears throat> Well, Bethany, pick one. It's not both. It can be both. It's one or the other. Am I hot or am I disgusting? I don't know. Your husband is cheating on you with an old woman named Henrietta. Oh, grant me. Friends with a, with a boy. With a boy and a doggo. <laughs> Might have him adopt a dog when I come back to there. Is Shay still here? Yeah, okay. He's drinking. Looking at Roisin in the hot tub. I don't know if you guys can see me coming with the plan I have for Shay, but maybe you can. Oh, he's so good with Orlando. Now he's coming to watch over Kiernan. Now he's going home. Well, that's not great, but I didn't. But the thing is, I didn't. Wait, let me do something. I'm going to have to have him move with them again. Why do I always have to have Shay move in with people <laughs> to not have a child be taken away? Because it's not my fault. I asked Shay to stay and watch Kiernan, and he's not doing it. I think it something bugged. <laughs> Having a quick 7 a.m. cocktail? As one does. Nothing wrong with that. He wants to torment someone. Great. That's a good choice. While we wait for the bus, I can show you their personalities. Nia is a Taurus. She's quite neat. She's, mm, well, a little bit more outgoing, a little bit more lazy. Between serious, well, yeah, a little bit more playful than serious and a little more grouchy than nice. Kiernan is a Cancer, so he's going to be a little family boy, and he's neat, shy, active, playful, and nice. A little buddy's home from school. Kind of hope that... Oh yeah, he brought a home. He brought, he brought a home. He brought a friend home. So I'm gonna be able to torment her. <laughs> Come here, June. I just want to play with you. Oh, I, oh, okay. Touring on the Infinity Tour with Mr. Infinity has been eye-opening to say the least. The entire dance world is on the cusp of a revolution. Mr. Infinity and his cohorts are attempting to keep things old school while a group of young upstarts call. New Dance Order are proposing a shift to new school. What does any of that mean? Neve is going to have to pick a side. Which will she pick? What does any of that mean? I don't think Neve is the kind of person that sticks to traditions or just the order of things. So let's go new school. 
Nia thinks she's learned all that she can from the old school and that it's time to try out some new things. It happens to be just the right time to switch as the new school experience is a creative explosion and Nia is in the center of it, popping and locking like never before. Yes, hip hop is my passion. Nia gains a creativity skill point. That's cool. What does he want to do? He wants to shock her? Did I just see that little boy rub his feet on the rug in the hopes of hurting this little girl? This poor little girl that's done nothing to him? How do I torment her? <laughs> how do I torment? Is it in me? Maybe they're not close enough for me to do that? I don't really know how anything works in this game, to be fair, to be honest. I don't know how the game works. Legally, I'm not allowed to play this game. I've been banned from um, the um, console. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I just want to show her a cartwheel. I just want to do a cartwheel in front of you, June. Yes! Fitness queen. How do I torment you? Oh, she's saying goodbye. I want to torment! How do I torment? Sometimes the best way to show you care is to get rowdy. To torment a sim, choose fight, torment. So I need to be mean to them. I don't want to be mean to June. Look how cute they are. I don't want to be mean to her. I don't want to torment her. I'm gonna to have to torment another kid. Who could he hate? He could hate Nelly. <laughs> I don't know, because he already seems to be kind of close to Leo, so I don't want him to hurt Leo. Okay, Orlando, maybe don't come out when adults are naked in the jacuzzi. Maybe do not do that. It's not our fault. No. No, I'm sorry, honey, but no. And he wakes up wanting to jump rope. This boy is predictable, to say the least. I can't believe he freaking rubbed his feet on the carpet with the intention to shock that little girl. I just cannot get over that. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a sim do that. Like, I knew they could, but I've never seen that. She's off today. I'm gonna have her go to the park, I think. Yeah, Woodland Park. Just to check if we can meet someone that she's not already slept with. <laughs> it's summer, but I... Why does the lighting feels like it's winter? Is that just me? Or something weird? Hi, Luna. Your husband's cheating on you. She's afraid of using a public toilet. Well, that's bad because you already kind of want to go to the bathroom, so you're gonna have to hold it in. <laughs> oh, yeah, the lighting just fixed itself. Yeah, it definitely was. Something was not right there. <laughs> hey, Bo. Hi, sweetie. Maybe we'll. We don't need to talk to Spencer. We've already. Yeah. Thoroughly. We got a son out of it. <laughs> I have to remember that she needs to be home before 3 p.m. Cannot lose track of that. Paul is here. We cannot sleep with Paul. We cannot do that. <laughs> Even if we could, we wouldn't. There's a girl hang out here. Oh, Cassandra. She's like, Jenna? Where's Jenna? That's Ivy, not Jenna. Where's Jenna? That's Jenna. Oh, I thought that was Astra because they have the same pregnancy outfit. But that's Jenna. <laughs> and I also forgot that Jenna was pregnant. Why does she have a... She has a spear going on the ground. It's interesting. Good to know. Oh, she did... Oh. Niamh, you could have waited to get home. You didn't need to do that. <sighs> I was too focused on the girls over there. Too focused on the dolls. The dolls. Why are there only women here besides Will? Oh, Vivi's here. They're talking about babies. I love when they do that. When their conversations are actually relevant to what's happening. Fuck! Get home, get home, get home. Can I put that in your inventory? In your inventory? No, I can't. You get home. Get home, get home, get home, get home as fast as possible. Fuck. I said she has to be home before three. And it's, oh my god, it's five. Oh no. Kiernan is now very bad at school. Because he never wants to, to do his homework. All he wants is to get pets and the jump rope. But there's a risk now that... Oh! Oh wait, that's cute actually. Okay, yeah, we're when when mom comes home, if we don't get taken away before, then um, we'll ask help with homework. <laughs> Everything's going very bad. I don't know what I should do because she's gonna be home around five, five past five. But if another full hour goes by, I think the social worker is gonna come. But I don't want to move in Shay again because I just fixed it. I just. Mm, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. I don't want him to get taken away, but maybe she deserves it. I don't know, but it's me. I forgot. I said I need to make sure she's home before three, and then I didn't do that. It's my fault. It's not hers. 
But it's his fault that he never wants to do his homework. Ugh. And now he wants to, but mom's not here and he's gonna get taken away because she's not here. Ugh. I hate that. Let's do Grant this time because Grant's at work. Grant's at work. There's no point doing what I just fucking did. Ah! Okay, so I quit without saving just so I could be a bit quicker about this. Oh my god. I just teleported Lucy over to have her call a nanny. And um, she has a plague info, which means that she's sick. I, um, okay. I had a feeling she could be, which is why I bought the FFS lot of bugger to check. Mm, I don't know if she has a soup, but she's family, so she can make the soup herself. Maybe we could just contain it to their household and just make sure to not invite Lucy anywhere and try to not have her be in the same room as Kiernan, because Kiernan suffered enough. Okay, I'll have him sit with one homework, finish that one, and then ask his mom's help for the second one, and maybe keep the third one for tomorrow. Finished one homework, I'll have him go watch TV for a bit before we try to do the second one. Oh, he wants to get an A+. Definitely gonna be a challenge, but we can try to work towards that. Okay, so he had a bit of time this morning, so I'm making him do his homework. The last of three homework before the school bus shows, if you can finish it. If you can't, it's not that bad. Oh, he finished it. Good day at school. What's that do? No, I'm not going back with you. You're in love with me, you wanna marry me. But I don't like you like that. <laughs> I'm not interested like that. Okay, so I think she has work at 1 p.m. I think we have plenty of time for a quick date with Mr. Will. Plus it's better to do that when Kiernan isn't home. Let's classic dance on the sidewalk. The first date's table. You've heard of sexy tickles? Now it's classic dance on the sidewalk. Slow dance now? You wanna dance so much. What did she walk like that? What did she walk like that? Okay, so we're running out of time a little bit. So the carpool is there in 10 minutes and I still haven't called the nanny. So we're having a woohoo. I know she wants to have it on the bed, but I do not have time. <laughs> okay, he's doing a bit better in school. So I'm not like terrified that he's going to be taken away now. <laughs> and he took June home again. I need to check something out because I always say, so they are like very distant cousins but they are cousins so i cannot get it into my head that she could be a match for him because she she, she shouldn't so it's saturday now and our little boy is having this big boy birthday party today so i think i'll actually have his dad over and probably like his little friends leo and Jew, maybe ivy too even though it's a bit weird that she's his friend but we're not gonna read too much into it i think 10 a.m. should be a nice time to organize the party. Oh, she has work. Oh, she has vacation days. That's fine. Hello. Oh, it's Nelly. Hi, Nelly. I think. Oh, no. It's. No, yeah. They're really poor as well. But I still think next time I play Lucy and Dustin, they should send her a bit of money because it's starting to be kind of ri ridiculous how long she spent at this apartment with a child. Like, he's gonna be a teenager today and they still sleep in the same bed. Yeah, I'm gonna invite Dustin, Cyril, and Maggie, and Shay if I can, and Spencer. For my little special boy's birthday, we're gonna have a cake and that's gonna be it because we are a single mother living in an apartment. I'll teleport over their little friends. Well, his little friends. So there's Nelly, Leo, June. I think it's the first time we see Leo. Oh, he's... <laughs> Terrified, but here's Leo. He is Luna and Rick Hawkins son. You know that guy that was cheating <laughs> with the, the old hag anyway. Yes, that's him so far. I think he's I don't know how to put this um, Nicely, but I think out of the two children that they the, this couple had together he's definitely the best looking out of the two and you'll probably understand what i mean when you see the his brother <laughs> up close it's a bit unfortunate but i think it's just the fact that he's still a toddler and sometimes toddler faces are uh terrifying all right so let's blow out the candles <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's very smiley he's happy Sucks that his grandma couldn't be here, but I don't want anyone else to die. 
to themselves. Like they were talking to each other and didn't do anything. I mean for the sake of his new family, he should keep it that way, but it's rare that my sims keep it that way. Okay, so I'll change his hair. Oh yeah, that's it. That's the one. <laughs> I don't have to look anymore. He looks cool. The lightest stubble. You know, he's definitely like 13. I don't think he's that manly. And clothes. I don't know what kind of vibe I get from him other than He's sweet and he's not like too extreme of a dude. Like I wouldn't put him into that. That. I like these outfits. I'll pick that one, I think. I don't see it often. Wait, a teen. No, I cannot meet her because she's stealing my newspaper. This is one of the teens I made. She's cool, I think. Her name is Fatima. Party's almost over. He wants an empty tree player. I'll get him one. <laughs> I love the way he smiles. Oh, I think the A plus report card is more important to keep blocked than a simple one to flirt. I think the one to flirt is gonna come back. No issues there. I wish I was as cool as this kid. Oh, she broke the computer. Let's call the landlord. Okay, it's fall, so I'm going to leave this household. I can just try to summarize what happened quickly for just this family, so it's done at the end of the video. Basically, not well, actually, not much happened. We had a couple scares that we thought Kiernan was gonna be taken away, but he he never was. He was almost taken away for bad grades, but we worked on homework, and he was almost taken away because Niev was always out of the house when he came back from school. But we dealt with that as well. Niamh had, I think, two dates. Yeah, she, she slept with a guy that she had already slept with and had a new lover that she had quick woohoo with on the couch. And I think that's it. I mean, as a single mother, she has a lot less opportunities for romance sim shenanigans as other solitary romance sim do. Uh, we did, though, uh, succeed to satisfy her power want to woohoo with 10 different sims, and now she wants to woohoo with 20 different sims. So we'll be working towards that for the rest of her life, I feel like, because she's already, well, 12 days is not that little like 12 days until she becomes an elder i think in 12 days maybe i can get it to 20 in 12 days if i work really hard we'll see we'll see what we can do we had a birthday party for kiernan he became a teenager and he's a family sim and i think that for once in my life i'm going to have available teenagers in town that he's going to be able to date because that's what he wants to do a lot he wants to have his very first kiss yesterday he wanted to flirt so we're going to try to have that work for him also we found out that lucy was sick so we're gonna have to fix that but i think i'll remember that uh with the scare that i had uh with Ryder, i i think i'm going to remember not to invite lucy out to things <laughs> i just want to play sims right now i'm so happy that i have this channel I just want to play Sims all day. So Shay's situation is a bit special. I'm going to set the season to four days instead of five because when he moved into this apartment, setting it up for the first time and everything took so long that it passed 6 p.m. and he aged up one day. So I'm being careful not to make him be older than he should be. Can you stop doing that? Okay, so now I think this would be the perfect time to tell you what exactly my plan for Shay is is so as you probably know Ryder who was Shay's best friend passed away he lived right next door here Shay is very close with Ryder's son they're friends with each other he used to babysit him quite a bit and he's also very close to Roshi as I said before Shay strikes me as someone who who on top of being yes quite playboyish and you know not extremely serious of a person he still strikes me as someone who has a lot of honor and you know doesn't want to be the guy that let, sees someone going through a hard time and just does nothing like offer like apologies or things but doesn't do anything that's substantial and I thought 
it could be interesting if he tried to really get into their lives and kind of not become like a, a replacement dad but more like a, a paternal figure like masculine figure in Orlando's life and I did also think that if that leads to him getting closer to Roisin, I was not going to stop that from happening, if you catch what I'm trying to say. So yes, my plan, if it works, if uh, the, the, the stars align and I'm able to do what I want to do, that would be kind of a messed up situation. Since Ryder was Shay's best friend, and they were also cousins, if does get with Roisin, that would mean that she would be dating her dead husband's cousin not that long after her husband's death. So, mm, I don't know. I, I, I mean, that's the thing that I thought about doing. Does it mean that it's gonna work exactly how I thought about it? No. That doesn't mean that it's gonna go exactly the way I want it. But I would be happy if I was able to at least make part of that plan happen. Like I really, really want him to stay close to Orlando and you know, be be there for him. At least be there for Roisin while she raises Orlando alone, if she has to do that alone. But yes, that is what I have thought of doing. And the more I think about it, I'm not sure. I don't, he's a very sweet guy. I do feel like there is more to him than being a romance sim. And looking at his personality, I see that he, he's very, very, very nice. He's very outgoing. He's very playful. I don't really see that. Like, if I was going to make him a secondary fortune, I feel like he should be at like either grouchier or more serious. And he is none of those. And I thought maybe popularity, but I have a feeling that all that's gonna do is make him want to to throw parties and become best friends with everyone he meets. I think the the only obvious thing I could do, obvious, I say this as if I'm, my hand is forced to do it. My hand is not forced. I'm clicking on family right now. <laughs> I am accepting. I think I have made my decision and thinking pretty clear. And this is my game and this is the way I want to do it. And I'm going to make him be able to make grandma's coffee soup because we don't have enough people that are able to do that. I don't know why Orlando's running around, but... Aw, see what I mean? I don't know, there's just something so sweet about the two of them being together. Encourage niceness. He's supposed to be at school. It doesn't matter. We're encouraging niceness. Who are you gonna try to be nice to? Drink from bottle while <laughs> this happens. I don't want him to lose his identity. Oh. <laughs> Okay, stop now. Uh, encourage playfulness? Why is Grant always the target? I don't think he'll appreciate being used as bait. <laughs> it's just sweet. That's another one of the teens I've made. I do. I think that was one of the first ones I made. What's going on? Why is there a fire? And why did Neo just get struck by lightning? Somebody help. Oh, you were, you had the right idea with the pillows. Let's bring this to the bedroom. Let's look away. Oh, we won't be able to because we're gonna get a cutscene. Ah. Thank you for your time. So I just had him ask Roisin for a little hangout thing, and I hope she's going to come in and pick up Il Chocolatine so they can have breakfast together. Ah. <laughs> I just asked her if she liked what she sees, and she goes, yeah. You're an artist. Hey, what's up? What do you want? Why are you looking at me like that? He wants to fish, so I think I should send them together somewhere they can fish. Just the park, probably. Like, I don't think he has any bad intentions right now. He's just trying to keep her company. Just, I don't think in his mind, the thought of making something further happen is never too far away. Did she come with him? Did she not come here? What the heck? He wanted to fish and now he's fishing. That's all that matters. Is he catching stuff? Oh, he got two large mouth bass. Why doesn't he tell me that he did? That's strange. I want to see what they do. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. I wanted to see what they would do if I just let them to their own devices and that's what they've chosen to do. And I must admit that is what I was hoping that they would do. And he's kind of cute. He wants to slow dance. So I think I'm just going to buy a stereo just for that. It's kind of a weird situation, but like it's not their 
fault. Like, I don't know how to, because to, I don't need to justify it to myself. I have no issue with what's happening right now, but I feel like some people are gonna be like, oh, that's, that's what you've chosen to do? Like, that's just, <laughs> that's what you're doing? And like, yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna let her go to the bathroom though. Yes, that is exactly what I am doing. That's exactly what I want to do. And it is, and it is what I've wanted to do, I think, Ever since I've started thinking about like how I'm going to deal with the situation right after I stopped filming um, the part where Ryder died. Like that's the first thing that popped into my mind. I was like, oh, that would be so good. She needs her liquid courage. <laughs> that's fine, girl. Take your time. <gasps> mm, okay. I think I made the right decision. Oh, that's adorable. It, I mean, he's simultaneously wants to have 10 loves at once, but let, let's completely ignore that for, oh. And I know that's not just the family secondary aspiration because romance sim, I think that's a bug. Uh, romance sim continuously get once to get engaged and even married in my game when clearly they don't like that. So I cannot attribute this 100% to the fact that I gave him family secondary, but oh. And now he also fears it. <laughs> The duality of men. I don't think I'm gonna have them take this to bed <laughs> that early. I'm gonna be more tasteful than that. This almost, this is to me almost like they're discovering this possibility. I think she would be a bit scared to get with a woman that has a child. Like I think he would actually enjoy being with Roshi more seriously. That's why like he got the one to get engaged to her. But I think it, his initial reaction to the situation would be like to pull back. Kind of, oh, like I know this girl is gonna want something serious and I don't know if I'm able to give that to her. It's gonna be an interesting dynamic to have to work out. But he doesn't have any more wants for her for tonight at least. I mean except for getting engaged but we're not gonna do that live right now. We're not gonna do that but this like, I'm, I'm just so glad that they went with what I wanted. I mean, to be fair, I did give them the perfect opportunity to do so, but they took it. And not all Sims take it. Let's cuddle under the stars. Oh. I think I'm gonna have him give her one last little kiss, and then we're going to end the casual group. Good night, Roshane. Lucy, stop visiting, you're sick. I know you love me, but stop visiting. You make me nervous. No. This life is behind me. He doesn't, well, he doesn't know it yet, but this life is behind him. Sometimes it really feels like every single time I have something to say, it's like the entire town drives by my street. That's not a bad idea, actually, learning couples counseling for him. Maybe for him to like, understand the complexity of what it means to be in an exclusive relationship with someone that's not like ball and chain <laughs> like really understand what it means i think that was a nice use of his evening what's the gain of cooking spoon that's definitely the uh, family aspiration doing that he wants to go on a date i think i'm gonna have them have like an off official real restaurant date maybe tonight still i don't think anything salacious is going to happen i think they're keeping it pg for now it's still a bit uncomfortable so i don't blame them <laughs> i like being dramatic <laughs> why, why are they ganging up against this poor kid and now they're ganging up against the old men <sighs> kids kids these days I think they should eat at a place that's like fun and not too serious looking because I think otherwise that would maybe scare him. <laughs> like a place they can do something else than eat. And maybe the- I think I'm gonna go to the diner. Yeah, let's go to the diner. I, I like the fact that they're friends before they're anything else. That's such a nice change of pace for a Roman sim, I find. Why did he get a piece of cake? <laughs> So you see he's not that serious actually. <laughs> Mom wants to marry her right now. And I think that's as far as they'll go <laughs> tonight. He does want to ask her. I might do it, but just like as a take you home kind of thing. Actually, I you know I have I'm I think I'm gonna make them hint. I think I'm I think I'm actually gonna make them end the evening in the hot tub. Oh my god, watch him come! <laughs> Look at him! Look at him! Shut his way over her. I 
I think they deserve this. I think they do. It's my opinion. That's actually so cute. Go on, consenting adults. <laughs> I think that maybe by that point, Shay would feel more comfortable with the thought of being a man that's just in a kind of exclusive thing. So, because like he wants to get engaged and he wants to get married to her. So I think after the like two or three years they've just spent together, I think he would be ready to ask if that's something that could interest her too. Now he only has an hour to sleep before work, but that's not my problem because it's fall and that means that we're ready to move on to another family. Set season length to five days and we're done. So to recap for Shay in particular, he did have another fling with this girl Grace that everyone has sex with in town, <laughs> but right after that, I think he really felt like he needed to be more of a role model for Orlando and that kind of made him want to help Roisin out more which made them become closer which led to a kiss and then a date and then a more official kind of proposition. He does want to get engaged to her so I mean, I guess we can expect that to happen in the upcoming round. They're probably going to end up living together too. Or maybe they're just going to be living apart until they're married. I do not know. I mean, I'm talking about it like they're going to get married for sure. Right or died out of the blue. So who who knows who could just <laughs> crawl up on the floor and die next round. But um, if... I can, if I'm able to make, to go through with what I'm thinking right now, we should have a wedding because he got the one for it. It's probably going to be a red, like negative memory for him, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he's going to be happy in the marriage anyway. Yeah. So next time I didn't even think who we could be playing next time. We're going around pretty like pretty fast almost everyone's in fall now what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna play the oldies next episode and then i'm gonna play both of the triku families in one single video and then the third video is going to be the pleasants and after that we're going to be going to university to play hollis and maybe other teens if anyone cares to join him we got that planned out now yes i'm happy i did that because that was kind of all messed up in my head i didn't know what i was going to go with but next episode we are going to play with the oldies we are finally going to be able to meet anna marie because i don't think we've seen anna marie anywhere in any other family she's kind of more like she keeps more to herself and her little family so she doesn't really pop up in parties or just hangouts she's also old so she's an old woman so maybe that that plays a part in it also thank you all so much for the reception on my corruption video the reaction to my video it's really like it's it's received pretty well so I'm happy about that and also I'm going to I've started adding my other social media in the description if you care to follow me on other places like I'm gonna put my tumblr down below my twitter and my letterbox they're the ones that I use the most that's gonna be what uh, is linked below if you're interested in following me over there I don't have the community posts enabled for me yet so I can't really talk to my followers on YouTube directly so what I do most often is I'll just post a random text post like uh oh just fyi the video is gonna be like an hour late today or whatever like if i have something like that to 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 put a warning for i'll do it on my tumblr for now until i can make community posts so yes uh as always tell someone you love them this week tell multiple people you love them if you have like if, if there are people around you in the in your life that you love that you want to tell them don't hesitate and other than that we'll sleep tight and don't let the butt light bite Bye-bye.